Here are the top five things to consider when deciding on a roofing contractor. And this list can go on and on. Number one, are they local? You want someone that is within your region. So if the issue comes out, they're just a phone call away. Number two, were they professional? Meaning did they show up on time? Were they prompt? Were they able to communicate well? Number three, the actual company. Do they have a brick and mortar location? Are their vehicles wrapped? Does it look like they invest back into their business? Do they have positive reviews? Are they licensed and insured? And this list can keep going. Number four, the consultant. Does he or she know what they are talking about? Does your gut actually trust them? Are they looking out for your best interest or were they being very pushy and aggressive? And last but not least, but the value they bring. At the end of the day, roofing is broken into three simple categories. You have the materials, you have the install workmanship, and you have the customer service. If you're going with the cheapest price, chances are they are taking a shortcut in at least one of those categories, if not all three. But at the same time, you don't want to overpay and be pushed into a sale. You want this to be a value-driven decision.